Devil's Castle. You know, I remember coming here before the, before the apocalypse. When my dad would take us on vacations up here. He would camp out around it, but... You know, it's, it's not the same after the apocalypse. It's kind of just a beacon of false memories and false hope. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the speech. Toby made that up completely on the spot as we were entering the castle, so I'm pretty pleased with how that turned out. But this is pretty much where the journey began. You know, we spent the day up at Devil's Castle and waited till nightfall. Got some loot at the neighboring towns and decided to head out. We were pretty decently geared, so we kind of decided to head to the coast in uh, search of some player interaction, some human contact. We are getting lonely up there. No one really seemed to be inland these days, so this is where it all began. Look at my character. <laughs> I'm not pressing anything. <laughs> <laughs> da -da -da. Da -da -da. Did I'll that, get oh, stuff. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you just decided to have a quick I have the tiger montage. Yeah. That's cool. Okay. We are officially lost. But it's fine. It's all about the journey, right? We're heading roughly towards the coast either way, so And we got food to last us. We do. You been here before? No, oh, it's kinda cool. Cool little hut. I wonder if we can go in. Yeah, welcome to the Chop Shop. This is where Just Pimp My Ride is filmed. <laughs> hey, buddy! Over here! What? Ah. <laughs> Where'd it go? What was that? <laughs> Where did it go? <laughs> no! <laughs> the flare! Luckily, it's not that dark. It's actually nowhere near as dark as I thought it was. No, it's not. <laughs> I thought it'd be like pitch black, but... It actually looks really good. Yeah, it's nice. The full moon. Oh, this is just... This is Gorka. <laughs> we're just back at Gorka. Oh. Yeah. Um, we're gonna head back to the coast. We're gonna... Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Have a journey. We're going on an adventure! Don't roll in the fire, asshole. <laughs> Would you knock it off? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm on fire. <laughs> Stop trying to roll. <laughs> we'll get ready because it's about to get lit up. There we go. Alright. Want to tell some ghost stories? Yeah. You gonna you gonna go? Oh, okay. <clears throat> Once upon a time, in Gorka Town, there was a girl called Jane. No, fuck off, fuck off! This is no, stop. Oh, scary. What? Oh, scary come thing. on now. I I didn't even get started. All right, carry on, carry on. Sorry. Okay. <clears throat> so, a girl called Jane in Gorka Town. Yeah. Jane used to. Own a rusty knife collection. Oh God, no! Yeah. I do not like where this is going. It's okay. One day, Jane yeah. awoke at dawn. No, no, no! To sharpen her knives. No. It was a fear the next day they were going to be on display. However, when she entered the kitchen, no, she saw that her knife shelf was empty. No. Later that day, down by the lake. They found a man cut up in his stomach with the message, Thanks for the knives, Jane. J 
Jane oh. had to go to prison. They thought that Jane was the culprit, even though she denied it. Her DNA was on the knives and the man. Can you guess who the man was? It was her father! No! <laughs> and the real scary part is, Jane went to a female prison. And she had to play crossword with a real badass lady. Oh no. And when she beat the lady, let's just say the lady beat her. And crossword? It's the fire yeah. out. I don't know. The flames are gone. <laughs> Pretty shit story, to be honest. <laughs> All right, you ready? There we go. Are you drinking from the fire? I don't know. I'm apparently blowing air into it. <laughs> Looks like I'm just huffing it down. Hey, it worked though. <laughs> it's your turn for a ghost story. Okay. Give me a second. Someone's just gonna shoot us. You know, living up in that castle, as much as it was a roomy place to live, human contact was at a minimum there. There was no way we were going to survive out there without any contact. So we headed down to the coast to see what we could find. Penis. <laughs> here's, here's my ghost story. Here's my ghost story. Okay. Right. Once upon a time, there was an Asian man and a white woman sitting around a <coughs> campfire. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. The Asian man was holding a submachine gun, right? But the uh, the white woman, she was holding a rifle. Okay. The white woman lifted her rifle, aimed it at the Asian man's head, and said, "Happy birthday! <laughs> you thought I forgot? I did. Happy birthday!" <laughs> Oh, so I would never forget you, Timmy. That is your name, right? <laughs> My name's Dave. What? It's Dave. Dave? Then where the fuck is Timmy? <laughs> <laughs> I ate Timmy, and I'm wearing his skin. Wow. I like your style. It is my offering to you, my lord. Accept this as a token of my appreciation. Are you Mr. Fitz? That's right. Come, Come with me. Okay. Blow jobs! <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's go. <laughs> Blow jobs! <laughs> It's show business, baby. As long as we keep following the moon, we'll be fine. I'm dead. Sorry to leave it on the cliffhanger, guys, but that's going to bring it into part one of the journey. I know we sort of spent most of it, you know, telling shit stories around a campfire, but hopefully you guys found that funny anyway. I feel like now we've got most of our shenanigans out of our system, so you know, we can start making some actual progress. <laughs> but anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. I've been Fitz, and this has been Journey, part one.